All right, 20 seconds. All right. All right, we're going to go over this. Can I have your eyes on the board, please? Okay, thank you. On oh, another golden rule here, we participate. So whenever we ask for answers, we raise our hands. We go ahead. We're not afraid to say what we got because this is a safe place. This is where we work to make to get better. Who would like to do the first one? Negative seven plus negative three. Isa, what did you get? And tell us how. Negative ten. Okay, negative ten. Raise your hand if you got the same thing. Good. What was you thinking to get negative ten? Um, what did you do? I was thinking. Negative 7 plus negative 3, so I was like negative 7, and then plus a negative number, so negative, they mean it go to the left, uh -huh. and so you got to go backwards. Yeah, we're going backwards, so you went 7 times to the left mm -hmm. on the number line, then you went 3 more times to the left on the number line, and so you get negative 10. Good. Alright. How about the second one? Let's. Um, I got negative 4. Negative 4. What was you thinking? I was thinking that since, basically, since it's negative plus uh, positive, uh -huh. when, you, when you have a positive, you're basically subtracting the negative. Oh, so let's see what it looks like on the number line, because that's a little confusing, adding and subtracting. So let's see. If I go negative 7, do I go left or do I go right? Go left. left. How many times? Seven. 7. All right. So I'm going to land at negative 7. And then because it says plus 3, do I go left again or do I go back right? Right. 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 How many times? 3. Oh, so that's why I'm landing at negative 4. And that's why, like you said, when I'm adding a negative and a positive, I don't add the numbers. What do I do? Subtract. Subtract that. How do I determine the sign that goes in front of the number? Um, Rafia? The um, bigger, like the since seven is a bigger number, it has a um, uh, negative. Very good, because negative seven is the biggest absolute value. It dictates the sign of the answer, though it's going to be negative four. Great job. Both groups are paying attention, answering the question, and respecting each other. Answer. So far, we're doing good. So, no, that's like, that's going to be inefficient, and that's going to waste our time. I can I can see it coming. Okay. Thank you. Was it a math related? You see, six cents. Next one. Seven minus negative three. I need somebody else who hasn't participated yet. Jimmy. Ten. How did you get to ten? Well, um, I, I'm seven, right? And yeah. since, and since three is a negative, uh -huh. I actually be adding that. So you change the subtraction to an addition? How do we do that, Jimmy? Do you remember? There's a rule. Keep, change, change. Okay, so we keep 7, so we change the subtraction to what? Plus, to addition, and we change negative 3 to? Positive 3. So then it becomes 10. Raise your hand if you got that. Raise your hand if you forgot that. That's fine. Yeah, what did you do? I, I did I just did it how it was so I did seven so check negative three so I did like I got four four okay so when you have a subtraction of integers we will always change it to the addition of the opposite and we'll work on this today okay um so it's ten can I show you what where that rule comes from do you mind no, let's let's put so. seven on the number line and let's put negative three on the number line. So in math, when I do the subtraction of two numbers, I'm measuring the difference between the two numbers, or the distance between the two numbers. So when I'm doing 7 minus negative 3, I'm measuring this. All right. And that's 7, but then it, there's an extra 3 right here, so that's why it's 10. So when, that's why when we subtract, we keep change, change. I just wanted to show you that. How about the next one? This one's a little harder, negative 7 minus 3. Um, how do you say that, David? Demond, sorry. Demond. Ten. How did you get ten? Because I keep the change. Alright, so keep the first one. Negative seven. Change minus to what? Okay. And then change to what? So if I do keep, change, change, it becomes negative three right here. So what is it going to be? Negative ten. Negative ten. Raise your hand if you got negative ten. So the first part of our review today is clarifying uh, our rules with integers, because it can get confusing. So can you flip back to the other side of the graphic organizer? And we're going to create together a little graphic organizer that we're going to keep with us 
to help us making sure we're okay. We're going to start with addition on the left side. All right? You see it? There's a number line there. On that number line, we're going to model the operation. We're going to show how it works. So the example we're going to use is negative 2 plus negative 1. Can you write it below the number line? Negative 2 in the model box. Negative 2 plus negative 1 in the number box. Good job. Everybody is reading is writing on the right box. Mm -hmm. Now, on the number line, we're going to show what we do when we do negative 2 plus negative 1. So what do we do when we do negative 2 plus negative 1? Go to the left. Go to the left two times. So you do an arrow twice to the left for negative 2. So you can write it on your number line, starting from 0. We go to the left twice. We're modeling negative 2 plus negative 1 on the number line. So we're starting at 0, and we're going 2 to the left for negative 2. So we're going to do a little arrow going twice to the left. Good. And then how do I model plus negative 1? You go to the right. Why well, to the right? Is it plus 1 or plus negative 1? Oh, negative 1. Plus negative 1. So I'm going one more time to the left. Yes. How do you go to the left when it says and so That's a really good question. So the, the sign of the numbers tells you to go to the left. So you don't pay attention to the middle part? What it's adding with integers, that just tells you keep going in the direction that the numbers indicate. So if it says negative 2, I mean 2 times to the left. And then if I say negative 1, I keep going 1 time to the left. So what's the answer? Negative 3. Negative 3. So now, we don't want to use a number line all the time. So in the box that says rule, we're going to write a rule for adding two integers with the same sign. Okay? So you're going to write in the box that says rule, what do we do when the two numbers have the same sign right there? What did we do? Did we add or we subtract it? We add it, right? So you're going to write rule, same sign, add. And what did we do with the sign of the number? It was negative 2 plus negative 1, and the answer is? So what do we do with the sign? Do we change it or do we keep it? Keep, keep it. So add in. Keep. keep. So that's the first part of our rule. Same sign, add and keep. Same sign, add and keep. Okay. Now let's go back to our model, our model up there. And we're going to write a different problem this time. We're going to write negative 3 plus 2. Negative 3 plus 2. Negative 3 plus 2. First box in the model box. We're going to write negative 3 plus 2 in the model box. We're going to write, good job, negative 3 plus 2. Try to find a little bit of room. Yeah, above the line would be great. Negative 3 plus 2. In A, you got it? Negative 3 plus 2. So in that case, when we do negative 3 plus 2, the first thing we do, we go to the left three times. But then what do we do? Do we keep going left for plus 2? We go right, we go right I mean, two, two times. times. So we go to the left three times, but then we go right two times. So we end up at negative 1. So we didn't add this time. We didn't add, right? What did we do? Subtract it. Because the numbers did not have the same sign, they had different sign. So in your rule box, you're going to put a second bullet point, and we're going to write different sign, subtract. Different sign, subtract. And then... Iceland, when you corrected the water problem right here, maybe it wasn't Iceland, maybe it was you, um, Rafia, you told us something about how to determine the sign right here. To oh, keep. Yeah, when the, when the bigger actual yes, exactly. So different sign, subtract, keep sign of bigger number. Keep sign of bigger number. Excellent. All right. Do you see below rule there is a box with for examples? And we're going to do something. Different sign, subtract, 
keep sign a bigger number. All right, I'm going to flip to the next page. We're going to do some practice problems. So far, each group is on track. It may have to be done as to every one, but we'll see. Okay, you see the box that says practice? We're going to do some practice problems. All right, let's go. Negative 5 plus negative 3. I'll give you 10 seconds, and you try using your rule to determine if we add or we subtract. And what is the sign of the answer? Negative 5 plus negative 3. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Raise your hand if you got the answer. Okay. All right, Jeff. Tell me what what um was hard for you right there. Is it same sign or different sign? Huh? Is it same sign for the numbers or different sign? I don't know. What what sign is at the number? Right here. What is the number? What is the sign for this number? Is it a positive number or a negative number? Negative. A negative. What about this one? Negative. So do they have same sign or different sign? Same. Right. So should I add or subtract? Look at your rules. Add. Add. Okay. So that's eight, right? How about the sign of the number? Keep the sign of the number. So it's going to be negative eight. Good job. Right. All right. Next. You ready? Negative ten plus negative seven. All right, I'm seeing everybody with the right answer. And I, what do you get? Negative 17. Negative 17. Great job. Let's mix it up. Negative 10 plus 7. Negative 10 plus 7. Different sign. Be careful. Everybody is doing the problems. Okay. Raise your hand if you got negative three. Raise your hand if you got negative three. Everyone, that's the right answer. Negative three. Subtract, keep the sign of the bigger number. Okay, let's try one more. Negative five plus eight. Negative five plus eight. Different sign again. We're going left, we're going right, so we subtract. Good job. Um. Oh. <laughs> you okay? Um, okay? You got it? 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 Raise your hand if you got three. Raise your hand if you got negative three. Thanks for being honest. This way we can improve. All right. Why is it three and not negative three? You can get it. Tell me. Why is it three and not negative three? I'm sure you can do it. Why is it? Because... Which number is bigger? Negative 5 or eight? Oh, 8? So it dictates the sign. Right? So it's positive 3. Yes? I have like oh, um, a thing that like kind of helps me with adding. Well, share, please. Please share. Okay, so Ms. Morella told us that when you like, say if you have 7 plus negative 5, they don't put the addition sign. They just write it as 7 minus 5. And that kind of helps me. So I just put the 8. Minus five. That can work, absolutely. Yeah, and that's two. Yeah, that works. I don't want to throw you off if that works for you. Okay. Yes. Um, I got a question. Yeah. When you was like, it gives the bigger, the bigger. Um, absolute value. So the, the number without the sign. Oh. So eight is. I were you gonna say something about that negative? Yeah, cause like, like say like the negative number was like negative ten plus 